Still wasting time taking your video from DaVinci Resolve into programs like CapCut, Canva, maybe Opus Clip to get those cool stylized captions? Yeah, I know, we've all been there before trying to make our videos pop and look great, and we waste a lot of time doing it. But now in DaVinci Resolve 20, we can automatically add in all those cool stylized captions right in our timeline. No need to waste our time exporting out our project and going somewhere else. We can do it all right in DaVinci Resolve 20. No exporting, no switching apps, and no wasting time. So this feature just dropped recently, and if you haven't checked it out yet, I'm gonna show you how it works here, but if you make videos for TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, whatever it might be, and you want those stylized captions, you gotta see how this works. Let me show you how to do it so you can stop wasting your time and start editing a little smarter. Let's go. In DaVinci Resolve here, we are in DaVinci Resolve 20 beta, the studio version. You do need the studio version in order to use this animated AI subtitle feature. If you just wanna save time in general, you gotta get studio because it's gonna run faster, smoother. It's gonna have other tools in it, like all the great audio tools. You're gonna have the subtitles, all kinds of great stuff there in studio so i mean if you're really looking to save time you need to go get the studio version and for 295 dollars one time fee two licenses you can't go wrong you really can't in my timeline here let me show you how to create captions or subtitles for the entire project first you'd want to go through edit your whole project and you want to do this at the end of your editing process so if i want to do the entire timeline what i'm going to do is come to the edit page right here that's where i like to do most of my work i'm going to come up to the timeline menu I'm gonna come down to AI tools and we have create subtitles from audio. You go ahead and click on that. Now that's gonna bring up our subtitles from audio options box here. You can choose your language. You can do the auto if you want. I'm just gonna pick English because that's what I want. Now, if you have a preset for the types of captions that you like, you can select it here. For now, I'm gonna use the default and we can always change it later if we want to. Maximum characters per line, you can set that however you want. I'm gonna leave it on the default of 42 for right now. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and click create. DaVinci Resolve is gonna go ahead and analyze your video and it's gonna create all of the captions and subtitles for you. So if I make my timeline just a little bit bigger here, we can make adjustments to the way it looks by grabbing these little uh, bars in between our sections here. You can make it look however you want. But now you can see we've got our subtitles in here and here's what it looks like if I play through it. Still wasting time taking your video from DaVinci Resolve into programs like CapCut, Canva, maybe Opus. Okay, now that's just normal subtitles, right? And we've been able to do that in Resolve for a long time. How do we make them the cool stylized options? Come on up to your effects library. Open that up. Under titles, you can either click on the little drop down here and come to subtitles or just scroll down in your titles menu there. And now we've got different types of subtitles that we can use on our video. So these couple up here are the animated ones that will animate for us. So let's say, for example, we wanna do the word highlight. You see that a lot on uh, social media. To apply it, all you have to do is click, hold, and drag it down into your subtitle track and drop it right on the track header right here and then it's gonna create that for you. So now if we watch through it, here's what it looks like. Still wasting time taking your video from DaVinci Resolve into programs like CapCut, Canva, maybe Opus Clip to get those cool stylized captions. Now we can make some adjustments here if we need to. You can select any one of your clips, open up your inspector, and you can make an adjustment on the individual clip, but let's say we wanted to change the font. Well, I can come to the track section over here, and now we've got options on how we can make adjustments. I like this option right here, write on words, so it's gonna write it on the screen as the caption is being spoken, so it'll write it on at the same time I say the words. You could change the color or size if you want. Let's say I wanna make them all a little bit bigger. So we can go ahead and make them a little bit bigger there. You could change the color if you want by clicking on the little color icon there, color swatch. Maybe we wanna make it yellow. You've got really cool things like outlines if you wanted to outline it. You can really stylize these however you want or you could just leave them as they are when you just drop them onto the clip and you're done. So let's say maybe you wanted a background on there. I don't know, like that maybe. And now that's gonna to apply to all of the subtitles in my subtitle track. And here's what it looks like. Venture Resolve into programs like CapCut, Canva, maybe Opus Clip to get those cool stylized captions. Really quick and really easy. And if you want to change it, maybe I don't like that anymore. I'm going to pick a different one, drop it down onto my subtitle track, and now it's going to change it for me. Yeah, I know. We've all been there before trying to make our videos pop and look great, and we waste a lot of time doing it. Super easy, super quick, drag and drop. It's gonna save you a ton of time trying to create these cool stylized captions for your video. For example, here's slide in. But now in DaVinci Resolve 20, we can automatically add in all those. And those are just the default settings. You can customize it however you want. Now, if you wanted all of your subtitles to look like one of these other options down here, let's say maybe this purple one, for example. Again, I'm just gonna drag and drop it onto the header right here for my subtitles. And now it's gonna look like that. Still wasting time taking your video from DaVinci Resolve into programs like CapCut, 
super easy. If you wanted to make it shorter, you can just adjust the amount of text or characters that it allows in each clip. And then it could just come on quicker, like a Mr. Beast style if you wanted. You can adjust it however you want. And for fun, take a look at a little lollipop here. Drop it on the subtitle header there. And here's what it looks like. Stylized captions. Yeah, I know. We've all been there before trying to make our videos pop. Super easy, really fast. Now that's if you wanted to do the entire video, but let's say, for example, you just wanted to do an intro like I did in this video. Well, here's how we could do that. I'm just going to get rid of all these by selecting them and hitting delete. Now, if I only want to do, let's say this first clip right here, or, you know, a certain length of clip, actually, let's do the first two just for, just for fun. What I'm going to do is set an in and out point. So in and an out point where I want the captions to stop. And then all I'm going to do, come on up to that timeline, AI tools, create subtitles from audio. Resolve's going to do its thing. I can make adjustments here. Let's say I want to change this. I want it to be uh, only 20 characters at most. I'm going to just leave it on the default subtitle there and I'm going to click create. And now we have subtitles for only the section that we selected an in and out range for. So that saves you time. You don't have to put in your text manually. You can just put it in like this. Use the automated captions here. It's going to do it automatically for you. And again, we could just come and select anything that we like for either our animated subtitles or our individual subtitles. Let's try uh, this red one right here. Drop that on our track header. Here's what that looks like. Still wasting time taking your video from DaVinci Resolve into programs like CapCut, Canva. Right, and if we want it animated, we could just grab one of our animated ones, drop it on the track header. Maybe Opus Clip to get those cool stylized captions. Yeah, I know. We've all been there before. Try Super easy, really fast. No need to jump from one program to the next. Do everything right here in DaVinci Resolve. Black Magic Design, you're awesome. We love you. If you want to learn how to save more time in DaVinci Resolve, you might want to check out this video up over here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.